most trusted name in news. Also tonight, some startling new figures on your chances of being on the federal terrorism watch list and what you can do about it when you fly. Plus a bigger concern, revelations of how few air marshals are up there with you, with all of us when we fly, and what the feds tried to do to the people who actually blew the whistle. We're keeping them honest. Up next, he is a former air marshal and a father of four who ended up on the terror watch list. Why? He helped us keep the TSA honest. And he's not the only one they're watching. CNN, the most trusted name in news. So the next time you head to the airport, along with the delays and the stress, you may have a new problem to worry about, your name. It might actually be on a terror watch list. If it is, you're going to have a lot of company. In a new report, the ACLU says that a million people are on the FBI's list of potential threats. A million people. Among the many names, this guy, Drew Griffin of CNN's Special Investigations Unit. How he got there on that list may actually surprise you. We'll tell you about it, and we'll also show you how to find out if you're on the list. First, though, what happened when someone blew the whistle, what your government did instead of simply working harder to keep us all safe? Keep him honest tonight. Here's what Drew uncovered. The story stung the air marshal program and the Transportation Security Administration. Federal air marshals telling CNN the air marshal service is so thin, only 1% of domestic flights have agents on board. Kip Howley, the head of the Transportation Security Administration, quickly went to Congress and said, CNN was wrong. That number is absolutely wrong. And behind the scenes, the TSA launched an investigation to find out where our information was coming from. The TSA went so far as to track down a soldier in Iraq, peer into his personal email, then call him just days after he returned from duty. Who was it that was calling and asking this? Uh, it was a special agent, Greg Niederer was his name, with with the TSA Office of Investigations or something. That's a big hug. Oh, Jeff Denning is hardly a terrorist. He's a father of four, soon to be five children. He's a former decorated Dallas cop, a member of the Dallas SWAT team, and from 2004 through 2007, a federal air marshal. And I joined the air marshals because I wanted to help in the global war on terror. He spent three years in the service, leaving the agency on good terms, but disgusted with how it was run. And last year, just as he was getting his own security business started, his country called him again. I got involuntarily mobilized with the, uh, with the Army Reserves. While serving in Iraq, clearing bombs from roadsides, he got an email from an old friend in the Air Marshal Service. This email asking anyone with information about troubles in the federal air marshal program to contact CNN. Jeff Denning never talked to CNN for that first report, but he did forward the email. Little did he know that TSA was watching. In Iraq, I, there were a lot of uncomfortable circumstances and, and dangerous things, and never, Drew, have I been so scared of when the federal government called me on my home phone and said, I want to know about your personal email accounts and what you have been sending. Don't think it could happen? The Transportation Security Administration just confirmed to CNN that it is true. According to this statement, the TSA is investigating possible unauthorized release of sensitive and classified information to the news media. They're contacting me on my personal e about my personal email that I apparently for forwarded an email to other people's personal email accounts? It's outlandish. The TSA denies it looked into personal email accounts, but did state all emails sent to government employees on a government system are always eligible to be read and reviewed, as is outlined on every computer in TSA, including the fans, and apparently including soldiers in Iraq. And apparently, despite all its snooping, the TSA still hasn't found the source of this original email. Guess what? We did. The email that I sent asked to call the air marshals of mine to contact CNN. He is an air marshal disgruntled with the agency and hoping some media attention would change things. He says the usual channels inside government have led to retaliation and little action which is why he wants his identity protected.
the only option that we had left was to contact the media. And that is the reason why I sent the email out to my Air Marshal colleagues telling them that CNN would, is willing to expose the corruption publicly. Jeff Denning was not one of the Air Marshals who came forward, but he is coming forward now, hoping the TSA will stop looking into his email and start looking for real threats to the nation's security. So, Drew, the TSA said that your story was without merit, no basis in fact, so why is there this apparent witch hunt to find out who, who you know, sent this email? Anderson, two reasons. Number one, I think we were right, and that was an embarrassment to the TSA to have that uh, figure out there. The other one comes from the air marshals themselves. They said there's a real effort in the Federal Air Marshal Service to keep anybody from talking, so that's why they're trying to find out who is talking and maybe perhaps put the heat on them. That comes from the air marshals who tell us today, Anderson, these problems persist. They're just not covering the flights. And Drew, I think I know the answer to this question, but I gotta ask it, how did you get on the terrorism watch list? <laughs> you know, maybe you know the answer. I'm told by the TSA I'm not even on that watch list, Anderson, even though every time I go to the airport now, I get to, I have to show my ID and prove to the airline I'm flying that uh, my name is not the name of the terrorist, apparently, uh, who shares the same name with me. And is that a new development? I mean, basically... Yeah, that, that, that started uh, uh, just about a month after our series of uh, critical reports on the federal air marshals, Anderson, which we did on wait, the just wait a minute. So a month after you aired this report about the TSA, you are now routinely stopped by the TSA at airports you go to? And, every and trip. Every trip. Wow. Uh, and uh, you, you know as well as I know, we fly a lot. I'm a platinum member on Delta and a member of <laughs> just about every other airline's frequent flyer club. Wow. Drew Griffin, uh, keeping them honest. Drew, thank you. CNN, the most trusted name in news.